and love. Super stoked about Gimmick. Never seen that game before. I've been watching ADDQ for three years now, and it's always super good to see that money going to cancer prevention. I won't be able to see the Final Fantasy VII run, unfortunately, so I might as well donate now. Keep up the good work, people. You're the best. While we're waiting, check out somethingartistic.net. They offer decals and stickers made to decorate your consoles, walls, computers, and more. $2 from every decal sold this week is being donated directly to the Pre Can Prevent Cancer Foundation. You can find all their decals, including some des designed just for AGDQ, over at decal.ly. We're gonna have to take a quick break with the stream to restart it for the players to get it going. Be right back. Welcome back to AGDQ 2015. We're working on some errors with our SNE or NES going on. While we're waiting, make sure you check out the Yeti.com, yeah, their t shirt site featuring an awesome new design every 24 hours for a low price. The Yeti has partnered with us for AGDQ 2015, offering an array of shirts for $3 from any unit sold going to prevent cancer foundation. Check out the collection at theyeti.com slash games done quick.
Turtle Beach headsets transform your gaming world with a selection of cutting-edge technologies, creating a product that completes your high-definition gaming experience and puts you a step up on the standard headset competition. Check them out at turtlebeach.com. Check out the awesome Games Done Quick bundle on HumbleBundle.com. Pay what you want for up to nine games, a Twitch Turbo subscription, a subscription to Xbox Premium, and exclusive merchandise, all while supporting Prevent Cancer Foundation. That's HumbleBundle.com. Tiny Build Games is an indie developer morphed, in, morphed into an indie publisher. They partner up with indies across the world to help better their games as well as develop games themselves. Check them out at tinybuild.com and check out their game Speedrunners, available in the AGDQ 2015 Humble Bundle. Since 2005, World 9 Gaming has been the premier computer and console gaming provider for events across the Midwest. With dedicated staff, tournament expertise, and an expensive collection of games and consoles, they guarantee the best gaming experience at the lowest cost for all events, large and small. Check them out at world9gaming.com. Looks like we might be getting on track.
about time you guys joined the party. No, we're good. We're good. We're good. All right. We got Kirk Q on the mic. Are you good? You ready? All right. Three, two, one, go. Welcome. All right. This is NES Lawnmower. It is a homebrew game, uh, custom made, and it's really good. To my right, we have Nightmare. To my left, we have Blecky. And over on the end that you may or may not be able to see, we have Boney. The goal of this game is to literally mow the lawn. You have to mow all of the grass. If you mow flowers, you will lose a lot of fuel. If you mow rocks, you will lose a lot of fuel. You have to have fuel or you lose, and you have to redo the entire stage. So these early levels are kind of easy, but the later levels have a lot of boulders and such. Uh, you can hit about one boulder before you're in a lot of trouble, and you can hit maybe three flowers. The fuel spawns after about half of your fuel gauge goes down. Its position is set based on when you grabbed the last set of fuel, and it can only spawn in grass that was already mowed at that time. So like at the beginning of the level, it will always spawn at a tile that was uncovered to begin with. And they've routed it accordingly. <laughs> so Nightmare just did the three flowers death. This game's kind of a trade-off between going too fast and playing safe. Like, anytime the fuel's about to spawn, you kind of want to head back towards the center of the map to make sure you can get there in time. So we have Boney and Blecky are on lawn five. Blecky's a little bit in the lead, and Nightmare's not too far behind at the moment. I love seeing nightmares like perfectly symmetric mows. <laughs> All right. To answer the question being asked by chat right now, yes, this was worth the wait. <laughs> <laughs> All right, lawn six is terrible. Like, <laughs> the design is just throw a bunch of rocks on a map. Also, one thing I learned from hacking this game a little bit is that the fuel spawns are kind of shifted towards the left of the map because the random number generator is coded kind of poorly. Lucky has about a 7% lead right now. <laughs> Nightmare's actually caught up a lot. 92. <laughs> oh! <laughs> All right. Oh! <laughs> Bonio's about two squares away from dying there. <laughs> Got the fuel just in time. One seven's interesting because it's actually useful to mow a few of the flowers so you have better paths through the level, but it's also risky. Oh, Blecky got the luckiest fuel spawn in the world there. I think lawn eight's kind of hard because getting to the right side of the level is really difficult. Wow. <laughs> Uh, 
as, as you can see on Bucky's screen, like he goes to the right side of the lawn, and then the fuel always spawns way to the left, usually. And so if he'd hit even one flower on the way back across the level, he'd have a really bad day. <laughs> Lucky heading into lawn nine. One thing you can kind of do to optimize the fuel a little bit is if you mow out the center, then like when the fuel spawns to the left, you mow the left a little more, and when the fuel spawns to the right, you mow the right a little more. Whereas if you would just mow like the entire left side of the screen, you'd have a lot of trouble mowing the right because the fuel wouldn't spawn over there. Everybody's on lawn 9, and Blecky just finished it up. This is the last level, level 10. This is Blecky's chance to win it all, or lose terribly. <laughs> By the way, these, these are all, wow, <laughs> these are all about six frame turns, which means you have a tenth of a second to press the button. <laughs> All right, Nightmare's on 10. Phony's on 10. <laughs> Blecky's got a slight lead here. Can he hold on to it? Nightmare racking up some serious percentage here. could come down to fuel spawns. Now you think time. Where's your fuel? <laughs> it was so far to the left. <laughs> Alright, so per the agreement before the race. We'll show once you pass. The winner of the race determines when the third player gets to cut their losses. <laughs> Just happy he's off the camera at this point. <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> There we go. Well done. <laughs> Great job, runners. We have a $50 donation from Wet Desert. My company provided their employees this year with a bonus to donate to a charity of their choice, and I figured this decision was obvious. Thanks, and keep up the good work. P.S. Kill them animals. And then we have a $50 donation from DeathSpark21. Just wanted to say that this is my first time hearing about GameSun Quick. 
I've lost a grandma from cancer, another is fighting breast cancer, and one of my friends has a genetic disorder that makes her grow tumors. So for everyone contributing, thank you.